Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about all the features and tips and tricks of Windows 11 that will help you to get things done faster and be more productive. Features from Intelligent Storage Management to Refreshing Graphics Card, I'll show you every one of them so that you become more familiar with Windows 11. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with the features related to taskbar and start menu. If you miss the taskbar position, which was on the left in Windows 10, then you can also bring the taskbar of Windows 11 on the left. To do it, right click on taskbar and select taskbar settings. At the bottom, you will find taskbar behaviors. Click on it. From here, you can change the taskbar position on the left. For now, I will just keep it in the center. On the top of the taskbar settings, you will see an option taskbar items. You can see on the taskbar, there are some extra items like the widgets, search box, task view and chat icon. You can remove these icons from these settings. To remove the search box from the taskbar, click here and click on hide. And to remove the other items, turn off them from here. Now you can see the taskbar has none of those items. As we have to go to settings many times for this video, let me tell you at first the shortcut to go to settings. You can go to settings by pressing Windows key plus I. There is also a secret start menu settings which you can access by right clicking on the start menu or you can access it by pressing windows key and x if you click on the start menu you'll see there is this empty space you can put here some items like file explorer settings and other folders to do it go to settings on the left panel select personalization here you will find the settings for start click here then click on folders here you can turn on all these options for example you can select settings file explorer and downloads then if you go to start menu you'll see all these items are here if you want to pin some new apps in the start menu click on all apps right click on the app and click pin to start then you'll see that app on the start menu and to remove any app from the start menu right click on it and click on unpin from start the app will be removed from the start menu to pin any app on the taskbar, right click on the app and select pin to taskbar. Then it will be pinned on the taskbar. And to remove it from the taskbar, right click on it and select unpin from taskbar. You can now put the apps in group in start menu. To do it, just drag and drop one app to another app. They will be grouped in a new folder. You can now access any app from the taskbar by pressing the windows key and the number of the position of that item. For example, here in the first position, I have control panel. I can access it just by pressing Windows key and 1. If your system tray has a lot of items, you can hide them by going to settings, personalization, taskbar, and then other system tray icons. Here you can disable all the items that you don't want to see on the system tray. Let's move to the quick settings. By clicking on this icon, you can edit quick settings. You can unpin any item by clicking on the unpin icon. You can also add items by clicking on add. Select the item and it will be added to the quick settings. Then you have to click on done. If you want to have additional clocks, then go to settings, click on time and language, then click on date and time. At the bottom, you will find additional clocks. From here, you can add two more clocks and then click on apply. Now, if you click on the clock on the bottom right corner, You'll see those two clocks are added here. You can now set different volume levels for different apps. To do it, right click on the volume icon and select open volume mixer. From here, you can change the volume of the app you want. You just have to open the app before doing it. You can also increase or decrease the volume of your computer just by hovering the cursor on the volume icon and scrolling with the mouse wheel. Now let's talk about some looks and style features. You can activate dark mode by going to settings, personalization, then colors, and here you can choose the dark mode. By doing this, all the apps will also become dark. You can also change the theme of the computer. To do it, go back to personalization, then select themes. You can also browse different themes and download them. You can also activate nightlight. To do it, Go to system settings and then select display. Here you will find the option night light. You can turn it on from here. By clicking on this arrow in night light, you can also schedule it. For example, you can turn it on at 9 p.m. 
and turned it off at 7 in the morning. After doing a fresh installation of Windows 11, you'll see that this PC icon is missing on the desktop. To bring it on the desktop, go to settings, then go to personalization, select themes. Here you will find desktop icon settings. By selecting computer, you can bring this PC icon on the desktop. If you don't want to see the items on the desktop, then right click on the desktop, go to view and deselect show desktop icons. To bring them back, just right click on the desktop, select view and select show desktop icons. If you quickly want to hide all the windows, then press windows key and D. Then all the windows will be minimized. To bring them back, just press windows key and D again. You can also do it by pressing windows key and comma, but it will work just until you hold the windows key. If you want to work on multiple windows together, then you can use the snapping feature. To do it, drag any opened window to the top and you will see there are different layouts. You can select any of them and put the window anywhere you want. Then you will see options to put other windows in other zones of that layout. You can also snap windows by pressing windows key and Z. Then you can select the layouts and put the windows wherever you want. You can easily switch between apps by pressing Alt and Tab key on the keyboard. By clicking on Windows key and tab, you can open task view. From here, you can create new desktop. Then you can work separately in these desktops. There is a feature in Windows 10, which is called arrow shake. If you hold the title bar of any window and shake it, then all the windows other than this window will be minimized. To bring them back, just shake it again. But in Windows 11, this feature is disabled by default. To enable the feature, go to settings, in system settings, go to multitasking. Here you will find the option title bar window shake. Turn it on. Now you can use the same feature in Windows 11. There are some settings you need to turn off in Windows 11. For example, you might not want to have any notification from certain apps. To disable notification from certain apps, go to system settings, then go to notifications. You can turn off notifications for all the apps, but it's better not to do that. Instead of turning off notifications for all apps, you can turn them off separately from here. Sometimes in the notifications, you'll see some tips and suggestions. To turn them off, go to the notification settings and then scroll down and select additional settings. Here you'll find two options, turn both of them off. There is another settings you need to turn off. On the left panel of the settings, select privacy and security. Then select Windows Security. Then go to General. Here, turn off all these settings. This will turn off all the apps from Microsoft. Now let's talk about Task Manager. You can go to Task Manager by pressing Control, Shift and Escape. In Windows 11, in Task Manager, you'll see it has a new look. There is a feature called Efficiency Mode, which is added in Task Manager. You can now right click on any task and put it in Efficiency Mode. There is another option in taskbar, which is called Startup Apps. From here, you can disable any app from turning on when you turn on your computer. You can now take a screenshot with the Snipping tool. You can search for Snipping tool in Start menu. In the Snipping tool, if you click on New, you'll see there are some options to take screenshots. You can choose between rectangular mode, reform mode, window mode, or full screen mode. You can also turn on snipping tool by pressing Windows key, Shift, and S. Then you can take screenshots by selecting different modes. You can also turn on snipping tool by pressing print screen button on the keyboard. But by default, it is turned off. To turn it on, go to settings, then go to accessibility settings, Scroll down and select Keyboard. Here you will see the option Use the Print Screen button to open screen snipping. Turn this on. Now every time you press the Print Screen button, it will take you to the snipping tool to take screenshots. You can take a screenshot also by pressing Windows key and Print Screen key. Then the screenshot will be automatically saved in the screenshots folder in Pictures. You can also do video recording with snipping tool. To do it, select the video icon and select new. After clicking on start, it will start recording.
but keep in mind no audio will be recorded in this screen recording. To record a screen with audio, you can press Windows key plus G. It will turn on the Xbox game bar. By clicking on this button here, you can start recording your screen. You can do it directly by pressing Windows key, Alter and R. Then it will start recording the screen. After stopping the screen record, it will be automatically saved in the game bar. You can access the recording by going to the game bar, pressing Windows key and G. Here in the See My Captures, you will find all the recordings. By default, Edge is the default browser in Windows 11. If you want to change the default browser, then go to Settings, then select Apps, and then go to Default Apps. Then select the app you want to make default. Then change all these file types to the browser you want to make default. You can use Clipboard feature to copy items and save in Clipboard. Then if you want to paste the items, press Windows key and V. You'll see the list of all copied items in the clipboard, including screenshots. Then select the item you want to paste. If you have problem with your vision and you want to increase the text size, then go to settings, select accessibility, then select text size. Here you can increase the size of the text. You can also change the size of the cursor. To do it, go back to accessibility. Then you scroll down and select mouse. Now select mouse pointer. From here, you can change the size of the cursor. In Windows 11, you can turn on autocorrect feature. To do it, go to settings, then go to time and language, select typing. From here, you can turn on the autocorrect feature. There is another settings you need to change. It is called storage sense. To do it, go to system settings, select storage, and then turn on storage sense. It will automatically free up space and delete temporary files. In Windows 11, there are some new shortcuts. You can bring Notification Center by pressing Windows key and N. Pressing Windows key and W will bring Taskbar widget. Windows key and C will bring the Team Chat. And Windows key and A will bring Quick Settings. Let's talk about some other shortcuts. If you want to put emoji in your text, then press Windows key and period. An emoji box will pop up. From here, you can choose any emoji you want. You can also do it by pressing the window key and the semicolon. You can refresh your graphics card by pressing Ctrl, Shift, Windows and B. You can turn on dictation by pressing Windows key and H. Then it will dictate anything you say. If you want to concentrate on what you are doing, then you can turn on the focus mode. To do it, go to settings. From here, you can turn on the focus session. With that, all these four features will turn on with the session. There is a video editor in Windows 11. It is called ClipChamp. You can find it by searching in the start menu. This app has many features that you can use to edit your videos. Just keep in mind, it can only export in 1080p. You can use sticky notes on your desktop. To do it, search for sticky notes. Here you can type in these sticky notes. You can also add as much sticky notes as you want. In Windows 11, the right click context menu has changed. To see the old context menu, after right clicking, you have to click show more options. But there is a trick to bring the old context menu in the first click. I have a detailed video on this topic. If you want, you can check that video. The video link is given below in the description. If you want to link your phone with your Windows PC, then you can use the Phone Link app. With this app, you can link both Android and iPhone. There is a tool called Steps Recorder. With this tool, you can record the steps that you do in your PC. For example, you can go to Control Panel and do some changes. Then if you click on Stop and Review, it will give you all the records of the steps in details with the screenshots. This can be very handy if you need to help someone with their Windows PC. You can just send them the recorded steps and then they can follow the steps by watching the screenshots. You can help someone with their Windows PC with the help of another tool called Quick Assist. With this tool, you can access their Windows PC and solve their problem. In Windows 11, you can open multiple tabs in File Explorer. Just click the plus icon to create a new tab. 
You can now also create multiple tabs in Notepad. We are almost at the end of this video. Before showing the last feature, let me thank you to watch the video till now. If you know any other features of Windows 11, please let me know in the comment below. If you like the video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe the channel. So the last feature I'm going to show you is a trick to shut down your PC quickly. To do it, press the Windows key and X. Then without clicking anything, press U two times. Oops, I forgot to save the file. By the way, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.